Have you heard about insulin? Insulin medication is given primarily to control type 1 diabetes. Now let me ask you an economics question. What happens to prices when there is high competition among the suppliers and manufacturers? Obviously when the competition is high, the competitors improve their efficiencies and tend to undercut and reduce prices. Correct? However, you know, insulin pricing seems to defy gravity and this simple economics principle doesn't apply it seems. The prices of insulin have steadily climbed each year since the past one decade and the average prices of insulin has increased 11% annually from 2011 to 2018 and it has now become a cause of concern. Even though there are at least three companies in the US, Sanofi Aventis, Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk that makes and sells insulin, but still the prices have not come down. The primary reason for this price increase is shadow pricing and that's the topic for the day to day. Today we'll discuss all about shadow pricing, how it works, pros and cons and much much more. Hi all, my name is Dheeraj Vaid from WallStreetMojo.com, the home for most authentic place to learn finance and accounting. Let's get started. First thing first, what is shadow pricing? In a nutshell, shadow pricing is a technique of assigning specific price to either an item, commodity or a service that is not bought or sold at any marketplace. The prices are based on subjective assumptions. So basically assigning values to various factors, it helps the analyst to make a better decision. Let me explain this with a very simple example. Imagine it's your birthday today and your parents give you a watch. Naturally, you are more than happy. Now I have two questions for you. What is the price tag of the watch and how happy you are? You can accurately answer the first question because the watch has a price tag. You also can answer the second question by saying, I am delighted. But you know, I need the exact value of your happiness. Confused? Okay, let me rephrase the question in this way. On a scale of 1 to 10, rate your happiness. Now you can easily say your level of happiness by choosing any number correctly. And this my friend is called as shadow pricing. There are two main characteristics of shadow pricing. Firstly, it provides great deal of clarity to make a decision. And secondly, it helps quickly to analyze various factors, their contribution and impact on an event. So how is shadow pricing applied in an organization? Shadow pricing comes into picture when an important decision has to be made in an organization and various aspects have to be considered while making a decision. Since many aspects considered may or may not have value, it becomes tough to make an accurate decision. So by assigning dollar values to these aspects or commodities under consideration, a business can do an overall cost benefit analysis. This helps in arriving at a reliable conclusion. Now let's see where shadow pricing is used. The first is that shadow pricing plays a crucial role in calculating opportunity cost. In addition, it helps in making certain decisions and effectively understanding them. Shadow pricing is also used to estimate the cost and the benefits of society. For example, it helps the economists to find out the benefits in initiating libraries and schools for public. Also, shadow pricing can be used to determine the negative impacts of pollution, carbon emissions and fossil fuels on the ecosystem. And finally, in investing, shadow pricing is used when the nominal value of shares doesn't sync with their true value. The point is that shadow pricing is just a technique and can be applied over all the streams to understand and make a proper decision. Predominantly, this technique is used in public policies and evaluation of projects. However, shadow pricing is an assumption value assigned to a factor. 
Therefore, it is not an accurate value. Nevertheless, by using this assessment tool, one can easily make decisions irrespective of the project size. Now, let us see a real life example of shadow pricing. In order to reduce the negative impact of carbon emissions on the environment, shadow pricing of carbon emissions was proposed. And therefore, in 2017, the World Bank announced that it was beginning to use carbon shadow prices in their project assessments. So as per World Bank, the shadow prices of carbon emission is expected to rise from $50 to $100 per ton by 2030. So these prices have been assigned primarily to reduce carbon emissions and save the ecosystem. Finally, it's time to evaluate the pros and cons of shadow pricing. First, let's see the good part. Shadow pricing can help analyze the benefits related to the opportunity cost. Now, this is very crucial for the business. Secondly, it helps in making proactive decisions regarding the project. Thirdly, this technique allows you to consider the economic opportunity cost for comparisons and it prevents underpricing. And lastly, shadow prices are most appropriate and suitable for monetary calculations. Now, let's flip the coin and see the other side. Shadow pricing is entirely based on subjective assumptions and doesn't have any proof. Therefore, there are chances that this technique may lead to misuse. We saw this in insulin pricing where the pharma companies increased the insulin prices arbitrarily without any objective reasoning. Secondly, the deductions may vary from person to person as the values can be biased. Thirdly, there is a high chance of inaccurate estimates that may lead to wrong decisions. And lastly, by using this technique, one can make decision in the short run, but it is not suitable in the long run. So let me conclude that shadow pricing is a technique that assigns a specific value to items whose price cannot be determined. Now these prices may vary for different periods. And these values are based on probability or cost benefit analysis and are used for making decisions. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like and share. And if you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future videos, then you may do so by writing about it in the comments section. Also, we come up with interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you can get the notification as soon as we release a new video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.